We got it, right? Oh, Marie's okay. tub's already. Hey, everyone. Yeah, right? Marie's Shanty tub. Simon. Shanty. Hey, Marie. Right? Hi, Marie's tubs and Shanty Simon uh, and everybody else uh, uh, watching today. Okay? If you haven't come on yet to watch, when you do come on, please uh, let us know who you are and where you're from in the world. Okay? Because it's a exciting thrill for us to uh, to get to know you. Um, okay? We're, we're right here in Los Angeles. Okay? And... Uh, Shanty's a great friend in Florida. Marie is a great friend in England. Okay. Marie Stop says hello, Shanty. Hello, Shanty. Hello, everybody. So, hey, so uh, we are trying something uh, different today. Okay. We have a, a new, very exciting collaborator uh, that is come aboard the Tortoise Land team. Now, I'm going to try and see if I can invite her on. So just bear with me for one second, okay? Hey, it's Kevin. Let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm new to this. Let's see. Share. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, boom. All right. Welcome to live stream. Okay. Uh, all right. So here we go, everybody. Okay. So unfortunately... I can't share uh, just because I have never um, uh, shared with, uh, uh, with, with with another collaborator on YouTube, okay? Done it on TikTok and uh, Instagram, but uh, we haven't set it up. So we got an exciting situation going on, you all, okay, today. Um, we are going to talk about, well, we got our babies, first of all, right? Take a look. Take a look at the size of these guys and girls, right? Okay, take a look at these guys and girls, right? All right, now this is, um, this is Elizabeth, everybody. Elizabeth has a story that you don't know about yet, okay? Elizabeth was gonna be thrown, thrown away in the trash. How about that? Elizabeth was going to be thrown away in the trash, all righty? And uh, what's the story? Well, we're gonna tell you, okay? We might not tell you right now, uh, but we're gonna tell you, okay, sooner or later. All right, look at the size of these guys. We got our beautiful red foots that are grown huge now. Look at these two, okay? These guys were born on uh, Earth Day week, right? Our two kids, the first two, the first two red foots ever born at Tortoise Lab. All right, we're super proud of them. Look at how beautiful, right? This guy's a little more beautifully orange than, than the other dude, right? And, uh, you know, pride and joys right here. Okay, big mama, the baby, the mother, okay, has laid eggs, 50 eggs, over five years. Never a baby, okay? Incubate them, never a baby, okay? Well, guess what happened on Earth Day, all right? How appropriate, all right? These guys are critically endangered in the wild, okay? And uh, right here, they're doing great and doing fine, right? Okay? So a bunch of stuff to tell you over here. Who do we got soaking, right? Look who's coming out, everybody. There's a lot going on in tourist land today. I want to thank Sam, who is uh, doing the camera work, okay? And oh, hold on, hold on. What's up? Jirlina Nen said, hello, I'm here. You're Marie's here. Marie Stubbs. Right, okay. Oh, wow. How right good. here, she is. Jelena, hello, I'm here. Jelena, let's see. Uh, print message removed. Uh, hide user ad as moderator. What does that mean? Let's see. Can we hit it? Ad as a moderator. Yeah, yeah. let's see. Manage moderator, can manage blocked words, stand up, can review and remove chat messages and hide or put users in timeout. Standard moderator. All right, right, standard moderator, okay? I don't know what that means. Okay, Jenna is now a standard moderator. Okay, so, all right, everybody. So we are learning, okay? We have an amazing new person on board of, of, of Tortoise Land, okay? And her name is Jelena. Alrighty, and Jelena writes an amazing blog, okay, uh, called Chelonians in a Half Shell. Pretty funny, right? Okay, tortoises basically, you know, rip in, in a half shell. Get it? Like half a shell, like, uh, you know, right? Here's the half, right? Pretty cool. So we are thrilled to have her aboard. We were going to do a, a dual live stream here, but, but Jelly, I can't quite figure it out or uh, you know in time for this okay so she'll be back with us next sunday okay which would be christmas eve okay maybe even before that because we have a huge uh great announcement she is smart as a whip she's 19 years old she loves everything about reptiles okay and she is our blogger for tortoise land okay 
She is, so she is our official blogger, which means she's going to talk about, right, and do the research on uh, all kinds of situations, okay? If you've been watching the videos, Marie and everybody, okay, we have a whole situation which has become hugely, hugely popular on our YouTube channel. And you know who this is, everybody? This is Mario, okay? Mario is a beautiful girl, a female African Sulcata. If you look at the, the, the video, if you haven't seen it yet. I thought that was a boy, no? No, it's a girl. Mario, a girl, well, okay. Oh, so that's a great, I, that, why is Mario a girl? You know why? Because Mario came to us uh, several months ago. She has gotten huge, okay? She came beginning of this year. She's probably grown, uh, you know, almost almost half again her size, okay? And, what, and so Mario came, and the gentleman that brought her thought that she was a boy, okay? Oh, so she kept her name. So we kept her name, right? So at first we're going to say, okay, let's let's turn Mario to Mar Maria. But we're like, no, we love Mario. It's great, you know? So Mario had a big situation, and I mean big. And Jelly, we're going to go through what Jelly did for the research. Jelly is our new blogger. Jelly will be coming on. Jelly, you watching, you're going to come on the Instagram live stream. We're going to do right after this one because because we didn't figure out how to get it uh, done on YouTube here. But we're going to figure it out for the live stream that's coming in about 25 minutes on Instagram. You hear that, Jelly? Okay. So a situation happened with our beautiful Mari O. That, that actually is a girl, all righty, and it happened last week, okay, and it's the, it's the video you, that when you click on our channel, if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe, okay, because it's a pretty amazing story, what is this, this is a bladder stone, everybody, passed, unbelievably, by this girl, okay, that's right, so before we get into that, I just want to show you a couple things, okay? So we're going to Jelena, talk... Jelena, yes, I will. Right on. Do. Okay, hang on, Jelena, okay? Thank you. Very excited to have Jelena aboard. So it's her, her blog, which is going to be all about the tortoises of tortoise land. Okay, this guy climbing up. Coming over here to see what's going on, right? What's going on, pal? Okay? <laughs> what's going on? Okay? These guys are getting huge. Now, you know, and who's in here soaking? Who's in here soaking, everybody? I want you to see. Three musketeers. You got that right. The three musketeers, right? These are our three littlest uh, uh, babies, shy girls kids, right? Okay. Um, and we have Timo, okay? Timo is our little boy that is such a sweetheart, and Timo is a little boy that struggles tremendously. If you watch the, any of the videos, Timo should be as big as his brothers and sisters about this size okay right timo timo was born about the same time as 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 this a sibling okay brother or sister which how long ago about six months ago look at the size difference right sometimes you know um not every creature gets the same genes Genes, right? Thank you. Is 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 challenged, right? Is grows up right or is born right away with a handicap, right? With some issues, and that is the story of our beautiful little mm. Timo. Okay, Timo is a fighter. Okay, so these guys are all great, right? They're you know they are hungry and they're eating, and we got no issues with them, and you know they they they're right here, and you know they most. Most African cicadas, especially, you know, we don't have any trouble, right? They grow, they grow fast. We rehome tortoises here, people, too, so we'll get into that a bit. So our little boy, Timo, just really struggles. Chunky and Timo, lots of hearts. Right? There you go, right? Lots of hearts. This, this little boy, we do not give up and on And Marie him. said, gorgeous little Timo. Right, right? This little boy, we don't give up on him, and guess yes. what? He wants I to adopted him, by the way. Yeah, so so my roommate Sam. What happened, Sam? Sorry, I, I adopted Timo. He, he had his official adopted this little boy. Okay, you can adopt him too. You know how? Be by helping us out on Patreon.com backslash the Tortoise Guy for a buck a month, right? Okay, you know, help us sponsor the little kid because he goes to the vet a lot. Okay, right? We have we take him to the vet once a week now to get him uh, syringe fed. Okay, to get him pumped up with vitamins and minerals and calcium. Right. Okay, because that's what's helping sustain him. Because on his own, he just doesn't eat enough. Look okay? at this beautiful face. Right. So help beautiful. us out, okay? Help this little dude up. Who's over here? This is 
Okay, the, uh, our other two littlest ones. Now, this everybody is You're jazz. Doing so well, though. Okay, this is jazz. Jazz was born. Uh, Jazz was born after the Lamert Park Jazz Festival. So I used this just over the counter saline solution with no chemicals in it. And this is this is sanctioned by Dr. Uh, Karen Schachterly. Okay. I use this to 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 get the keep make sure their eyes stay nice and clean. Okay? So it's harmless, it's good for them, it's a great eye wash, okay? We do that. Okay? Alrighty. We have our 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 our, our uh, calcium calcium supplements. We'll talk about that, okay? All right. Then also, so this little little one is our miracle little kid, okay? Was born, like I said, was born is now about uh, three and a half months old, okay? And uh, the littlest one ever born, miracle kid, because he was born in the incubator three months late. And the incubator I took to the Lamert Park Jazz Festival. You're going to see that episode. We premiere that episode on January 1st, 24. Okay. Um, a lot of work's gone into that episode. It's the first time we have been invited. We were invited to a 3,000 people uh, jazz festival event. We had our own huge tent. Uh, we did a huge public outreach. It was awesome. This little boy was in the incubator I brought there because those eggs were never going to hatch. Took the lid off. Everybody could see the eggs, right? Hey, okay. the festival ended. I, I put it back, uh, the incubator, in the front yard, people, in the driveway. Forgot about it, because why? Can I'm we get back to this guy now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? But anyways, this is the jazz, okay? So we get them soaking, because they're little. All right, so here's what. I want to talk to you guys about Mario, okay? Mario and the situation that happened with Mario, right? Okay? So what happened with Mario, if you haven't seen the video over here, right? If you haven't seen the video, please watch the video. It's a two-part, <coughs> excuse me. It's a two-part video, everybody, right? There's part one of hearing, <coughs> excuse me, hearing this poor little girl in pain, okay? And part two, which uh, a lot of people have not clicked on, and you really should, part two is, is watching what happened when I soaked her in warm water. Because what happened then is she was able to release this bladder stone, okay, right? This is this is uric acid, right? So our tortoises, if you look around like over there on the ground, look down there, Sammy, okay? See down there, going on that, okay? What you're seeing is that's uric acid deposits, okay? You know, which is, you know, which, which are deposits that uh, the tortoises make when they pee, okay? And what can happen is that the uric acid can build up in their body, okay? And form basically like a kidney stone, a bladder stone, and that's what happened to this little girl, okay? So we're gonna talk about what was the cure for it, what was the remedy? Uh, so I've been through this before with other tortoises here. Now this is crazy, because you, you know how hard this is, okay? Take a look at this, okay? Watch this. Okay, that's a rock, all right? It's a stone. It's a stone. I mean, and it is a stone. It's just not like, you know, you know, this thing is, is a it's stone. It's not fragile. It's a stone. It's, it's not a false. fragile. So, okay, the, the, this is what can happen. Now, Jelly, okay, Jelly, who is our new uh, newest member of the Tortoise Land team, uh, is a blogger. She's Marie said, I watch these videos, and my goodness, she must have been in terrible pain. So glad she got rid of it. She was in terrible pain, okay? If you haven't seen the video, people don't realize tortoises can cry, right? And they moan, you know, in pleasure or in pain. So please, so please watch the video, right? If you haven't seen it, okay? Because it's heartbreaking, right? It's heartbreaking. So what happened was when this poor little girl, um, you know, I started hearing her crying, right? She was out here with the rest of them and she was lifting her rear legs up, okay? and just crying and crying and crying. Oh. So I knew that it had obviously something to do, you know, something to do with her her, her, her backside, right? Okay? And uh, so for me, when I have any issue with the tortoises, because sometimes a tortoise will also have what's called prolapse, which is the craziest thing. Their, their sexual organs come out if they're old enough and they can't get them back in. It's called prolapse. So that's a whole other subject. And Jelly, that's a great subject also for a blog, okay? Because so with our, with Jelly on board too, we um, want to 
tell you guys things that we have learned, right? Okay, just not only the experience I've had through the years, but some really cool factual stuff. So this is where jelly comes in. Hold on, I'm gonna do something here. Shanti said to Marie, I agree, Marie, about she must have been in a lot of pain. Right? She was in a lot of pain. You know what? I'm going to pick her up, too. Let's bring her over here. Okay? Because we're going to talk about ways to avoid um, uh, the bladder stone. Okay? So here's our beautiful girl right here. And you know what, Joe? I'm going to give her some greens, okay? Because she's a hungry girl. So hold on. Just one sec. You go in close on her, Sam. Okay? Go in close. She's about three... <laughs> All right, okay. Hey, little girl, look at this right here. Okay, right there, you go, pal. All right, there she goes, everybody. What we got is some mixed greens, okay? A little bit of everything there, which they love, okay? Okay, everybody, just bear with us, bear with me. Okay, here we go. All right. So I'm going to come on this other side over here, okay? Right here. All right. Okay. Boom. Down here. All right. And I want to show you somebody else. Hold on. And guess who's over here, everybody? So just to catch you up on a little somebody, right? Come on. All right. Okay. So you might recognize this girl, okay? Because... Right? Her eyes healed perfect. Look at that eye, everybody. This is Pancake. If you've been following the Pancake story, right? Her Pan eyes perfect now. Her eyes perfect, right? So thank you all for the love and support of Pancake. Okay? Pancake's original name is Lucy. Now we're going to get back to Mario right now in a minute. But, right? Pancake's uh, original name is Lucy. Okay? We renamed her, Eternity, Robert, and me, our staff volunteers, Pancake because she's flat as a pancake. What happened? Well, the people that had her, loved her to death, they came here uh, a couple uh, weeks ago, okay, to visit her, and they loved her to death, but guess what? They didn't know, didn't do a little bit of research. You gotta do some research, everybody. You get a tortoise, it's not hard, because you Google, and you look at channels like me, or the Tortoise Whisperer, the Camp Cannon, all kinds of people out there that know a few things about it and what happened is for five years the first five years of her life since a little baby she never was out in the sun not a once never outside okay so she developed metabolic bone disease she developed a very uh, deformed shell you see the concaveness right okay and um and that's what's going on with her so since she's been here she got bit by another tortoise that we are rehoming so guess what we looked for uh, great homes for tortoises. She's gonna stay right here, okay, uh, for a while, okay. And look how great she's feeling. Jilly said she looks so good now. Right. Shanti said, "Oh my yay right? for pancake." Yes. Right. That's right. So it took a lot of months, okay. All right, Mario's running away. So let's get Mario, okay. I want to show you. All right. Want to show you, okay, what we did what we did uh, to, to heal her and what, uh, what is ways that you can prevent the kidney stones and gallstones in your tortoises, right? So if any of you out there have had the same experience, and I know you have, because I've gotten uh, messages from you all, please share them with us, okay? So what did we do? Um, okay, when I saw that and I saw her in pain, the first thing I did was soak her in warm water, okay? I put her in a bin, with really, really warm, warm, uh, right on the verge of hot, but not too hot, like a very warm jacuzzi bath, okay? You wanna put it, put the tortoise in deep enough, right? Deep enough so that the tail gets soaked, right? Okay, alrighty, so that's what we did, alrighty? But you gotta keep your eye on it because if it's deep enough for that, in case she crawls and flips over, you don't want the tortoise to drown, obviously, right? That's true of water dishes and all that stuff, okay? So what happened was she's crying and crying, and I knew if what I did wasn't gonna cure her, then we have to get it to the vet immediately, okay? You don't wanna wait, okay? So what happened then was uh, part two of that video, if you haven't seen it, go see it. Over a thousand people watched the first video, okay? But only like 300 people watched the second one. If you watch the first video, it takes you to the second video. 
because in the second video, okay, she soaked in that warm water. It did not take but five minutes, okay? Five minutes for this rock, okay? Amazing, right? This rock uh, passed through her body, okay? Passed through her tail, right? Okay, and it was expelled, okay? So that's the first thing to try, okay? The first thing to try. Soak them in warm water. I found that's also true for my tortoises, a few tortoises that have prolapsed, whose sexual organs have come out and can't go back in. The first thing I do is give them a very warm water soak, okay? So that's what I suggest right away you try. Because they're in a lot of pain. Like this girl was in so much pain. Five minutes in warm water and this shot right out of her. So it's like a bladder stone for humans, it's, huh? It, it, it's exactly. So listen, so Jelly, who is our blogger and effective uh, January 1st, you're going to go to tortoiseland.org. Hey, and you want a t-shirt, you want a hat, where do you go? Tortoiseland.org, our website, and you can order one. Christmas is coming. Every dollar uh, goes towards the tortoises. Jelly said the arms flailing around. So cute. Right, little girl? She's precious, this little girl, right? I mean, all the tortoises are precious. She's really precious, right? And uh, and so Jelly came up with this uh, list of things uh, that can be done. To I love the name, by the way. Jelly? Yes, oh, it's, it's right? a very cute Jelena. name. Jelena, right? Very Again, cute, very so nice name. Where are you going to be able to find her blog? She's doing an exclusive blog for Tortoise Land of starting January 1st, 2024. It's going to be great. I mean, she's already brilliant. You can find you can find her blog today. You can go to Shalonians in a Half Shell. Okay, Ch Chelonians in a half shell. Chelonians in a half shell. So do a search for that, click on it, and find it. Okay, she does amazing stuff. Sea turtles, all kinds of stuff. She loves everything about reptiles. We're super lucky to have her on board. Okay, and she's also on Instagram. Okay, Mola, the ancient one, the Chelonian whisper. So look, she did a bunch of research, like like in ten minutes last night. Okay, and what is a uric acid stone? Right. It's made of toxic waste, protein, mucus, can form in the bladder, right? They can form due to dehydration, lack of nutrients, vitamins, right? Form from ammonia that naturally occurs, right? Um, um, now, you know, they can, they can be deadly if, if we don't get it out of, of the animal, right? So here's a big one. This is a big part of what we're doing. How do you prevent it, right? How can you prevent it going forward, okay? Educate yourself, of course. Like I said, right here, pancake, right? If, if the, the wonderful people that had her had looked on YouTube or anywhere, right, they would have known that, um, and I don't blame them, okay? I'm, I'm grateful that they brought her in to us, right? I'm grateful. But had they done a little bit of research, they would have known, hey, reptiles got to be out in the sun. You can't have a turtle, tortoise, right? I mean, and, and not take them outside. Nothing is going to replace the natural sunlight, okay? So Shanti said, carry juice soaks and any orange baby food for prolapse they cannot poop they go blind wow you hear that everybody okay thank you shanti shanti raises tortoises herself so she has a lot of knowledge okay all right so back to this so thank how, you shanti what are some of the things you can do to prevent come on we're gonna go walk with mario okay ready everybody i know it's a lot uh talk about mario but that's what's going on here okay Right here, okay? Look who's upside down right here, okay? Boom, all right? This is April. This is April. April came a couple of weeks ago, all right? Um, actually, Pancake's uh, uh, family, and, and she picked out, she's a little kid, and she picked this one out as her favorite, so we named her April after herself, okay? All right, so what can we do to prevent this going forward? Okay, you can do this, right? Besides educating yourself, of course, you know, you're gonna get a tortoise, whether from us or somewhere else, you know, do a little do a little research, right? Okay, okay, warm soaks so one to four times a week. Jelly said carrot juice is so good for them. Carrot juice, to soak in carrot juice, right? And that's true for like little uh, little Timo right here, okay? You know, for little Timo, that oh, we can some help. make some carrot juice for him today. That's right, right. So you got the, you got the, yeah, I got the juicer. You got the juicer, and we have carrots. So we, we have, have carrots. carrots. So right, yes. Right there, <laughs> hey, so yeah. You, you're gonna get, you're gonna get a nice carrot juice soak today, little one. Okay. That'll yes. You out. Right there. Okay. So that's it. So soaking, right? Soaked one to four times a week. I soak the babies every day, pretty much. Now they're getting big, right? 
they're getting big they don't really need a daily soak but i give them a daily soak just because i'm in the habit of doing it since they were born okay it can't hurt them and it's certainly going to help them especially the smaller ones okay so you know soak them and that's true with the bigger guys too you know all right the, the, the mid-sized ones i have a big container for them like one of these pools right and like this and just fill it up with you know shallow water depending on the size of the tortoises like i do for the greek tortoises and the little the smaller cicadas and elongates all those guys and they get a nice soak okay where's Great. the other one the other one is under there it's hiding yeah we have a new turtle everybody but hold on let me finish this yeah let yeah just finish this okay last thing right make sure they have access to clean drinking water right subscribe to tortoise tuba i'm choking on my gum don't chew gum hold on right oh yeah bam <laughs> bam okay so all right subscribe to uh, Tortoise Land's 2024 blog for the best Chelonian preventive and care. That's right. So that's why we're super excited for Jelly coming on board. Like I said, you can catch your stuff now, right? All righty. What can we do to treat them, right? What are some good vitamins and minerals to add? Like what? Like vitamin D3, right? Allows them to absorb calcium. A calcium, of course, right? Promotes healthy uh, bone. And, and how do you get vitamin D? How do you get it? Well, with supplements. Well, sunlight, and, sunlight, and sunlight, sunlight too. Sunlight, okay. Yes, and you sunlight. Can use supplements, okay. With D3, without D3, you mix it up, okay. Right? Vitamin sunlight A. Sunlight is very important for them, right? huh? Vitamin A, carrots, right? Okay. Biotin salt, right? Okay. So here's a picture, everybody. Here's a picture, okay, of a big, big stone, bladder stone, okay, and a tortoise, right? Now that's huge, right? Yeah. I don't see any way in the world that this could ever get passed by this tortoise. So if that, uh, my guess is on this tortoise, if you don't, short of surgery, which is very expensive, right? On a tortoise, I don't, I don't know. Or if they could break it up with ultrasound, I'm not sure. But you, you want to do these things to prevent anything like that from ever happening, right? So again, this is coming from our new blogger named Jolina, okay? Chelonians and a half shell is your blog. So How do you spell Chelonians? C H E L O N. -I -N -S. Slow down, would you please? C H E L O N I A N S. Chelonians Thank you. and a half shell. Okay. Like I said, she's on uh, Instagram as well. Mola, the ancient one, the Chelonian whisperer. Okay. So she's coming on board. She's already on board, and we're thrilled to have her. Okay. And um, so there's that right there. Okay. Just a couple more things. Okay, and we're gonna. We're gonna say goodbye for this week. Now, you might be wondering, is there still a squirrel around here by the name of Nikki? He is around here, yeah. but he's very grown man That's now. That's right, so what's going on with Nikki? All right, while we're walking over to see if Nikki's over there. All right. I haven't seen him, no. No, we haven't seen him, but you never know, okay? While we're going over there, we also, on our website, everybody, tortoiseland.org. Okay, we're at 28 minutes. So I promised Sam we would end in 30 minutes, okay? When we end here, we're gonna take a little break and we're gonna to go to Instagram and we're gonna see if we can get Jelly on board to do a live stream with us. So you can meet her, okay? We're gonna get her on here next Sunday. Sunday's Christmas Eve. So Christmas Eve morning, we're gonna get Jelly on here, okay? All right, so what I wanna talk about here, okay? One, one, uh, well, we're gonna make this our last thing, okay? Second to last thing, come here. Let's see. Okay? Right here. All right. Okay, here's, here's a good point right here. Okay? All right. This here is crushed. All righty? You see this? This is crushed. We, we have tortoises that come in, um, and some of them are not uh, very friendly. Do you see this guy here? Where are we at, Sam? Okay? Okay? We have some tortoises that come in. We never know when we bring a tortoise in, especially African Spicatus, because they get big, as you all know, third largest species in the world, right? Okay? So we get this tortoise in and find out that that it's not very friendly, right? Most are, but guess what? See this one here? Okay? This is Sharky. Sharky is the, Sharky's the tortoise that bit pipe, uh, pancake in the eye, okay? Uh, so I have had to separate 
Sharky from the other tortoises, okay? okay? He's a good guy by himself. He's a great guy. Thank you. He's a great guy by himself. He's going to make a great, great um, tortoise like he did. He's a great pet. I love this guy. On his own, super friendly, everything, but he needs to be by himself, okay? So we rehome tortoises here, right? So we are looking for an awesome forever home for this beautiful boy by the name of Sharky. He's a loner. He's a loner. That's right. He, he just wants to be by himself. Maybe that's yeah. why he's me. He wants to beat up anyone else to take his uh, spotlight, right? Okay, so how do you find out about this? How do you inquire and say, hey, I want to come to Tortoise Land and meet him and I want to bring him home, which is what we do. So the Tortoise Guy Kevin or the Tortoise Guy Eternity or the Tortoise Guy Robert at gmail.com. Go to our website and you're going to see right there Sharky and Crush. Okay, there, there's videos about them, okay? So you can meet them and, 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 uh, and decide and talk to us about, about bringing them home, okay? So okay, just that you just, no, you'd be quiet. All right, so one last thing, okay? So over here. Sharky needs to be home, everybody, okay? So again, if you haven't seen the Mario series of videos, please watch them. Over a thousand people have. And watch part two where we solve the problem of what happened with that bladder stone, okay? We show you how we got that out of her body. Because that's part, a big part of what we're about, right? Okay? Now, I want you to meet somebody, okay, right here. Drop Dead Gorgeous Box Turtle. This is a three-toed box turtle. Okay, one, two, three on the back here, right? Okay, box turtle. Now, you know what the crazy story is with this little dude? Okay, is this little dude, I got a call a week ago Friday from a wonderful woman, Good Samaritan, up in a city about 45 minutes from L.A. She calls and says, I was driving the car and uh, crossing the road was this kid right here. Crossing the road, certainly going to get hit. Right, Sammy? Yes. Yeah? Okay, don't worry, we're going to wrap up, okay? Was going to get hit, so what did she do? She stopped, and she took him in, okay? She saved his life, okay? Obviously, this would be somebody's tortoise, because box turtles are not indigenous to Southern California. So she posted signs, and that's what you do, too, if you find, right? You post signs in your neighborhood next door and all that, okay, that you found a tortoise. Don't tell people if it's a turtle or a tortoise. This is my suggestion, okay? so beautiful. Look at right? So we named Look him Yellow. eyes. I want to show his eyes all that. Oh, my gosh, right? Okay. We named him Yellow, okay, for obvious reasons. So he's drop-dead gorgeous, right? So if you find a tortoise, my suggestion, don't say what kind of tortoise it is and, or the colors or anything. Just like a dog or cat, you've got to let people tell you what it is to make sure that it's theirs because people will say, oh, yeah, it's my tortoise, right? It's Maya, right? Very interested. So this is the this is our new our newest guy that came in. Over here, Seth, for a second, okay? This new guy came in, and we also got a green, we also got a yellow aired slider turtle that came in this week, but we don't got time to show you that right now. Here's what I want to do, okay? So I want to I wanna wrap up by saying this, okay? Um, you know, lots of great things are coming. January 1st, 2024 is coming, what, two weeks away, right? Okay, we will do our live stream next Sunday morning, uh, New uh, Christmas Eve, okay? And we're going to have our new blogger, Jelly, on board. Or our blogger, who's awesome. We just talked about Jelly, okay? And we're going to do an Instagram live stream in a few minutes, and we're going to see if we can't get her on that live stream. Because she's awesome. She's 19, smart as a whip, totally into reptiles, and, uh, and into research and finding out all kinds of cool stuff so we get to learn together, okay? All right. And... Bye. What else am I going to say? That's it. That's it. Bye, everyone. <laughs> right, everybody? So... Keep watching the tortoise guy. I gotta show you one last thing. 30 seconds. Who else came in the tortoise land? Now we're not we don't really do turtles, but guess what? Now we Shanti have Shanti said bye everyone. Bye, Shanti. Okay, hold on. And over here, let's see. Okay. We've had this guy, this is Big Booty, right? Okay, we know booty. about Big Booty. Big Booty, there's stubs over there. Okay, and look who just come in too. Alright, like I said, we don't usually take turtles, but we got these two. And this this little guy needed a home. Drop dead gorgeous yellow eared as opposed to a red eared slider yellow ear just dropped in gorgeous is now here at home and guess what these guys all need homes too okay 
We teach you how to do it. The tortoise guy, Kevin, the tortoise guy. Okay, Marie said guy. bye, y'all. Bye, y'all. So, okay, we're over. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned for more, okay? Boom. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm going to go like this, okay, Brown?